Wow, Scuba Steve, look at all these people who came to help us on our adventure. Ronnie, I mean, there is so many people here today. There are people everywhere. There's scuba wow. divers everywhere. Are you guys scuba wow. divers? Yes. Awesome. Yes, okay, let's try another question. Okay, you ready? Are you guys excited? Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. A little bit. Let's think, let's. What do you think, Scuba think Steve? Are they excited? excited? Are you excited? Yeah! Well, Woo! you all are here because you've been invited. We're going on a very very special mission. Okay, so we're all scuba divers and we're all trying to find something. Now Tina's not here yet. She's got our our adventure and she knows what we're doing. But as soon as she gets here, we'll start, okay? But in the meantime, Scuba Steve and I have thought up some fun songs. That way we can get really excited because right now you're like right here. And where I need you to be is right up where? Here! Over there, okay? So we need you to be over there. So I need everyone to stand up. Stand up. All right. Who knows the hippo song? Okay, okay. So we're going to sing it. You ready? You ready? In the beginning, God made the seas and the forests filled with trees. He made the mountains up so high. At the top, He placed the sky. Fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much He cared. In the middle, He had some fun. He made a hill that weighed a ton. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all right. So you guys said you were excited, but that was a very not excited hippo. Okay, so we're going to try this again. Okay, this is your opportunity to be loud. Okay, you're always being be quiet. We've got to be respectful. I want you to be loud. Okay, who thinks they can be loud? loud. Let's try it again. You ready? You ready? You ready? In the beginning, God made the seas and the forest filled with trees. He made the mountains up so high. At the top, he placed the sky. Fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much he cares. In the middle, he had some fun. He made a hippo that weighed a ton. Hip, 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 bottom mess. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Hip, 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 bottom mess. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. You're getting there. You're getting there. You're getting warmed up. Scuba Steve, what you got for us? Peyton, you know, or excuse me, <laughs> Ronnie, <clears throat> you know how I'm feeling today? How I'm you feeling? feeling all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in Jesus. Y'all know that one? Yeah! You better sing it like you know it. Let's everybody sing it. Ready? I'm all wrapped up. I'm all tied up. I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up. I'm all tied up. I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up. I'm all tied up. I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God. Oh, yeah. Faster. I thought you'd never ask. Here we go. Who wants to do it faster? I don't know if this group over here can go any faster. You always think y'all can go faster? Y'all want to try it? Let's see what they go. got. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God. Oh, yeah. How many of you are happy? How many of you are happy to be here? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen. Amen. Louder. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen. Amen! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Amen! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Amen! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Do you think they're warmed up? I think they're pretty warmed I up. I think they're getting pretty close. We'll let you have a seat. 
I'll let you have a seat. We're going to do one more song. One more song, okay? And make sure we stay warmed up and excited. All right, one more song. Let's go and see what you got for us. Everybody get your fingers out. We're going to sing about a fuzzy caterpillar. Oh, I like the fuzzy caterpillar. Everybody over here says they love Who over here loves fuzzy caterpillar? All right. Let's hold on, it. hold on, hold on, hold on. We let you sit down and then you get quiet. Who over here likes the fuzzy caterpillar? Yeah. Hold on, this side. Here. Get loud, get loud. Who likes it? They might like even. it. All right, here we go. Ronnie. A fuzzy caterpillar was climbing up a tree. He wiggled short, he wiggled long, he wiggled right at me. I put him in a little box. Don't go away, I said. But when I opened up the box, it's a butterfly instead. Oh, I could never make one, even if I tried. Only God in heaven can make a butterfly. All right, so I'm going to ask you one more time. Are you guys excited? Yeah! All right. Well, Tina should be here any minute. We're, we're just waiting on her. We don't know where Tina is. Hey, look, I see is her coming her? right there. Tina, we missed you. Uh, Tina, how many times have I told you if you're going to try to talk to us underwater, take your snorkel out, please. Oh, yeah, I'm really sorry. It's okay. My friend just told me about a man named Jesus, but I don't know where to find him. Oh, I know. I know where we can find Jesus. Well, tell me about this Jesus. Well, I know about Jesus. Jesus was the Son of God. He came to earth, and while on earth, he did many wonderful things. He performed miracles. Miracles? Like Miracle Whip, I love mayonnaise. Tina, Tina, let, let's focus. We know, we know you like food, but let's focus. He actually performed miracles. He did many wondrous things. He healed people. He helped people. He even rose some from the dead. Oh. That is so awesome. Will we find this Jesus? I know where to find him, guys. I know where to find him. Look, there's a map right here. Let's use this map. Oh, man. Are you a good map reader? I'm such a good map reader. So you're like a cartographer, right? Uh, I don't know how to take pictures. I just read maps. Oh, okay. Well, then, uh, okay. That's going to be, well, Einstein, this, this map is upside down. So let's turn it over like this. Guys, guys I've told you. Let's we, try we right don't, here. We don't need a map for this. Oh, we yes, don't we need do. a map. Yes, we, we do. We need, need a map for everything. I mean, there's literally a million different reasons that you need a map. For example, <laughs> this map right here gets me home every time. Dina, do you have a map? I have all the maps. Oh. Okay, this one's for to find my toothbrush. And this one's to find your microphone that's going to fall on the ground. <laughs> this one's to find my way around the mall. This one's for Chick-fil-A. This one's for Taco Bell. This one's for Taco Bell, too. We really like Taco Bell. Okay, well, I really don't think you're going to need a map to find Jesus. But I think we do. All right. Well, you said that Jesus performed miracles. Let's yeah, he there. did perform a lot of miracles. One time, guess what, guys? One time he fed 5,000 people with five loaves and two fish. Whoa. Okay, well, the coral reef has a lot of fish. I think we should start there. That's a great idea. Do y'all think the coral reef has a lot of fish? Yeah! Should we Should we look at the coral reef? Yeah! Okay, well, let's look at the coral reef. They're Let's see if we can find fish, anything. No Jesus at the coral reef. You don't think that he's going to be there, Scuba Steve? I don't think Jesus is anywhere at the coral reef. I'm starting to think you're right. Okay, um, all I see is fish here. No Jesus here. Well, where else could we look? The ocean's a really big place. Didn't you say he did some uh, healing? People? I did. Jesus healed a lot of people. Well, let's start at the fish hospital. There's a lot of people that get That's a there. great idea. The fish hospital. Do y'all think he might be at the fish hospital? Yeah. We'll see. I don't think he's going to be there, guys. Ronnie, I really don't think he's going to be here. I'm I found him! You found him? Where is he? Bring him out here. Uh, okay, so I didn't find him, but uh, I found these cute little guys. I should call him my squishy. Okay. 
Tina, again, can we focus? Okay, remember this is your this is your tour. We want to find Jesus, not some not some little fish. Jesus, Jesus, stay focused. Guys, I think I really know this time where we can find Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. Where is the last place he was seen? Well, I did I do remember something about a tomb, and I, I think the tomb was kind of like a cave. There's a lot of underwater caves. We could probably find him in an underwater cave. Yeah. I think well, the only thing is, is Tina's led us on all these wild goose chases. And we have not seen a single goose here today. What are you talking about? Whoa, would you look I at that? I take that back. Weird. <laughs> Geese. Who knew? Interesting. We've really? seen a goose now, so it's not a wild goose chase. <laughs> all the way in the ocean. All the way but in the guys, ocean. But guys, really, if we're going to find Jesus, we have to start right here in the Bible. The Bible has all the records and all that we need to know about Jesus. And if we start here... Here, we truly will find Jesus this week. All right. Tina, since you're the one that's leading this trip, why don't you go find out more about Jesus through the Bible, and then we'll check up tomorrow and see if we made any progress. Yeah, let's go let's study, go Tina. Study this Jesus I about all these cool things that he did by the Sea of Galilee. Oh, tell me more about that. Well, let's study. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's the deal. The thing that we learned tonight about finding Jesus, okay? There's a lot of different ways that people are going to try to tell you to find Jesus. They're going to tell you to find him in certain ways. But the, the number one way, the number one place, the only place that you're truly going to find Jesus is in the Bible, okay? How many of you have a Bible? Can you raise your hand? Raise your hand. A lot of you. A lot of you, okay? How many of you read that Bible? Okay, so how many of us adults read it as much as we probably should? Me! All right, so you guys are doing better than we're doing, okay? Because the truth is we have all the answers in the Bible. If we want to find Jesus and know Jesus, then it's going to be in the Bible, okay? So as you guys go to class tonight, what I want you to do is start paying attention to all the Bible stories that you're hearing, okay? Do you hear that? Bible stories, they're all coming from the Bible, okay? So in our quest to find Jesus this week, then we have to start with the Bible and learn from the Bible, okay? So here's the deal. When you go with these scuba team leaders, okay, I need you to listen to them, okay? When they say it's time to start, stop talking and listen, I need y'all to listen, okay? Don't be touching stuff and pulling it off the walls, okay? Follow your scuba team leaders and listen. There's some awesome, awesome things you're going to learn this week, and it's all going to come from the Bible, okay? But if you're not listening, then you won't hear it. It, okay, so how many of you are going to be great listeners and learn about the Bible? Yay! All right, I hope you will because the group that is the best listeners at the end of the week will get a surprise. Okay, so your group needs to be the best listeners. Okay, all right, so before we leave, what we're going to do is we're all going to bow our heads. Okay, we're going to bow our heads and we're going to pray and then I'll dismiss you by class. Okay, so can everyone bow your heads? Bow your heads, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this day. Lord, thank you so much for Vacation Bible School. Lord, thank you so much for every child here, every parent that brought their grandparent, aunt, uncle, whoever may, might have brought these children. Lord, please bless us during this Vacation Bible School. Allow us to look for you in the Bible, to find you and to know you. Father, I pray that, that if anyone doesn't know you this week, that they would come to know you and get to know your awesome power and your awesome love and grace that you have for us. Father, I pray that you would keep us all safe and we would all learn something from this week. Father, we love you and we pray you and it's your name I pray. Amen.